So uh, I'm, in, I'm in my office this morning. Uh, I dropped my phone and, it, and the screen is green, so I don't think it would do a good job. <laughs> anyway, here we are. Um, so this morning, it's, it, it, January tends to be, typically January is the time to set goals. Right? We were up in Ottawa uh, last week with the kids and the kids were asking us, they, they were uh, setting goals too for themselves, they, either for school or actually I think it came out of Chickadee, the magazine that you know set goals for the year and they were asking about categories. So well, you could set goals for your family, for school, for uh, your finances, things like that. And as adults, uh, a, a key category could be your relationship. And so if improving your relationship uh, is one of your goals for this year, an easy exercise you could do with your partner is to create a relationship vision, which is basically setting out, if, this, if your relationship worked out ideally, what would it look like? And even couples that are conflicted, they, they know what they want. And so in the office, I, I have couples make up a, a list of it separately. And the statements begin with we, they're in the present tense, and they're positive. So, for example, um, you know, it's, uh, it's a whole point of having a goal. If, if, I'm, if I want to go to Toronto, I can go up Highway 2, 3, 401 back roads, but I know where I'm going. Now, there might be roadblocks and detours along the way, but I have a much better chance of getting there if I know where I'm going in the first place. And I think the same thing is true of relationships. So, in the office, I have people, uh, you know, write statements. And we, rather than I, we say we are best friends. So rather than we will be best friends, which is future tense, we are best friends. Um, we are financially secure, rather than we will be financially secure and positive. So we settle our arguments peacefully rather than we don't argue, something like that. And then my job in the office is to hold people uh, accountable for their, for their goals. So it, it, it's their vision, not mine. So if they, uh, so I had a couple in the office the other day and they said, well, on their vision, it said, well, we have fun together. So I said, well, what'd you do to have fun? <laughs> Nothing. So next week they came in and they had a date night. So it's, uh, my job is to hold them accountable to their vision. It's not, uh, it's not mine, it's theirs. And then I, I think of uh, Crystal and I, my wife, uh, way back when we uh, were doing this, we, we would pull out our, our relationship vision in January and, and look at what we did and, and say, okay, we're, we've done pretty well on these, but let's focus on this one or two for the next six months because our anniversary was in June. We pulled out again and do the same thing. And even last year, we, uh, we <laughs> um, committed to uh, doing something out of the ordinary, at least one day a week, out of our routine. And we did a lot of stuff, but one, one thing, uh, one outcome was uh, we hiked in 10 of the 19 conservation areas in Essex County. So it would get us out for a few hours out in the, out in the bush at a picnic or something and uh, it was great for both of us, okay? So good luck with your uh, relationship goals for 2023. Uh, remember I've said always that the tools are available in today's world to have the relationship of your dreams, but a first step might be to articulate your vision of what uh, your great dream relationship would look like and then committing to implementing your vision one re resolution at a time. Okay, so cheers. We'll see you next week.